Okay, we're going to take a quick look at this um, $30 fishing kit that we got from Timu, and uh, later on we'll go and fish with it. But right now, it comes in this nice case, holds everything in the fishing kit, and uh, it's a nice bonus. Get it unzipped. Let's take a look at what we got here. First thing we've got the reel. It's a little, looks like it's a size 1000 reel. It's a no name brand. It's called an ET 200, 5.1 to 1 ratio. Um, no idea what brand, uh, it's a Pro Barrows brand, whatever that means. Um, the, um, the handle folds up. Feels relatively smooth. Bale works. The only thing is the bale doesn't close when you crank it, so you have to close it by hand, which is okay because that's what you're supposed to do anyway. Uh, I just have bad habits that I don't always do that. This will maybe this will help me break some of those habits. Um, next fun part here, as everything spills out, is the collapsible rod. Right now it's a. Uh, Nice and compact, about the length of the uh, about the length of the bag. But this will come out to be a well. When I straighten it out, this will be a uh, almost a six foot rod. Nice and whippy. It'll be an ultralight. I'm not gonna try to do that too much. Uh, you know, fix that up and get it all set up right now. We just didn't take a look. We've got a. Um, about a hundred meter spool of line. This looks like it's a um, well high vis orange uh, four pound test. A um, hundred meters. That might be a little bit on the low side for this reel because I think that will fill up this reel about halfway. But we're going to try and fish with it anyway and see what happens. Um, I'd actually pre probably prefer a six pound line to four pound line uh, just because. Some of these baits are look like they're big enough that I could get some pressure on it, but we'll fish with what we have for now. Next up is the baits. Um, we've got this um, package of, uh, well, it's Pro Barrows brand. Um, soft baits on um, there. Small paddle tails about the size of, say, a EPF swim or a Guggen Snacky swimmer. Um, I've got a lot of, um, I'm pretty sure these will work well, and they're the ones that I've I probably think I'm going to perform the best out of everything we've got here. We've got this uh, box of small gold spoons, like about the size, of, size and shape of a Castmaster, um, with single hooks on them, ranging from small to large. I'm not sure what the weights are on these. It's like the small one is a... Uh, the smallest one is something like one and a half grams. The largest one is uh, seven grams, which is, I think a quarter, and comes out to be a quarter ounce. Uh, so I will, this uh, this rod with four pound test, I'm probably only gonna throw the really small ones. But uh, those should work just well. And we've got a package of other baits here. We've got a uh, package of small jig heads. I think these are, these don't have a weight listed. I'm not sure they may be 1 16th or 1 32. Um, I think these will work just fine with these, uh, with these paddle tails. And then we got a collection of uh, hard baits. They seem like they're kind of lightweight hard baits, but uh, I'm a little leery of throwing some of these on four pound test, but we'll see how it goes. We got this nice big uh, jerk bait. It feels very light. For a jerk bait this size and these hooks are big enough that I'd be a little leery of uh, cast of uh, fishing in an ultralight but we'll see what happens nice blue color uh, I'm sure that will probably catch fish we got a uh, another one that's probably too heavy for this uh, this setup is a nice size popper um, normally I'd expect a popper about this size to be a, about a quarter ounce um, feels like it's about that again this is probably too big for uh, this rod but we may give it a try anyway uh, this is something I'm really leery to throw on four pound test as a small frog um, you know it's kind of seems kind of cheaply made but I'm sure it, it works 
Um, nice big crankbait um, with a big deep diving bill. Um, I don't know if I trust this on four pound line. Um, this one maybe I trust on four pound line. This is a smaller crankbait, something like a more like a shad wrap. It's got a fairly large bill, deep diving. Um, this is the one that I'm most likely to be comfortable with throwing on this rod, but we'll see. Um, it looks like it'll be an interesting light setup. I'm going to take it out to one or two locations, maybe down to the creek even, and try it out and see what happens. I'm pretty sure that the the uh, lighter spoons will work well on this setup. I know the soft baits probably on those jig heads, um, those those little paddle tails should uh, should work well, especially if there's crappie around. Not so sure about the hard baits, but we'll give some of them a try and see what happens. Anyway, hopefully next time you see me, I'll, I'll be fishing this stuff. Okay, so I'm here with my $30 Timu fishing kit. I've got the the tiny little 1 16th or uh, 1.5 gram spoon tied on. We're going to start with that one. Maybe we'll try something else here. I know there's plenty of uh, plenty of panfish in here and some smaller bass, so it's probably a good place to try this. Like I said, I'm going to start with the tiny spoon and maybe we'll move on to something else depending on what I see. Maybe we'll try the um, maybe we'll try the little paddle tails or uh, one of the hard baits. But we're going to start with this and see what happens. I've got my uh, four pound high-vis orange line on it. Um, the rod feels pretty good in the hand, so the reel doesn't feel as cheap as it looks. Um, not used to using line this light, but I think I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, well, let's see how it casts. All right. Casts okay. Little guys are going for it. <laughs> Might want to try the slightly bigger one. It looked like I was getting a lot of attention from the... Oh, there we go. Now it's loosened up a little. The bale's actually closing when I turn the crank. It's kind of one of my bad habits, but whatever. All right, bail closure's not consistent, but we'll figure it out. Got something. Woohoo, green sunfish. That's a good fight on this tackle. We got a green sunfish on the tiny, tiny lure. First catch with the $30 Timu fishing kit. Let's get a picture real quick. Got your hook pretty good. I feel I'd get better hookups with uh, with trebles, but <laughs> these single hooks are easy to get them out. There we go, little guy. Little guy, but it's a really little iron for a lure this tiny. Not bad. So it looks like uh, and there's definitely. There's definitely fish hanging out in that pool over there. They don't seem to be striking so much. When I cast across to the same area on the other side, though, I get attention.
I gotta work on my casting technique because that was a little got something. Looks like another little green sunny. This is a tiny green sunny. Barely hooked him, but he's holding on, so oh, spoke too soon. Come over here. little guy back and even if the only thing I catch here is a couple of sunfish I'll be happy with that well if this lure is working I'm gonna keep throwing it so let it's Spark a little, little bit. All right. Let's look at what colors we've got here. Got a nice little variety. There's a net. Yeah, let's go with this natural color. It's kind of, uh, it's not white, but it's a little goldish, yellowish, which I find is probably a good choice for most situations. So it's not particularly cloudy water, not particularly clear water, kind of neutral light. There we go. A little swim bait. We'll throw it here a couple of times. And I think I might have time, just enough time to relocate to one other spot where I think this might work well. This may wreck my plans to relocate to another spot, but I'm going to throw a couple over here near the top of the spillway just because it looks like there might be some little guys active here. Not going to go crazy. We're just going to do a couple of throws here. See what happens. Well, on something. Oh, I think I might have something. Yep, I got something on the line. Didn't even feel it hit, just felt like I was dragging. Come on. Come on in. Oh, you're all... <laughs> we got a little largemouth bass on the swim bait with the $30 Timu combo. Right there we go. Oh, he fell off. I almost didn't have him hooked. Come on. I'm on there, buddy. He fell off the hook as I was grabbing him. Sorry there, you're a little guy. Now let me switch hands here. And this is your better side anyway. Yeah, we got a little, little bitty largey. On the $30 Timu fishing kit. See if that came out good. Yeah, that came out pretty good. All right, there we go. Messed up his jaw a little bit. He's probably been caught before. That hole is way bigger than what I what I put in there. Again, nice hard fight on a light tackle. 
Okay, we're here at the pond. I've got a another paddle tail tied on. This one is uh, pink and white with some sparklies in it. I probably have time for like two or three throws before I run out of light. This spot is known for crappie. And these little paddle tails are good crappie lures, so let's see if we can get something to hit. Ah, missed him. Something grabbed the little swim right in front of me, and I almost lost it in the bushes again. <laughs> oh, Got to be careful how I land this. On this light line, it was the Great American Stickfish. Uh, big one. All right, I'm gonna call it a night. We'll continue this challenge in the morning. Okay, it's morning now. We're back here at the pond with my uh, Timu travel, the $30 Timu fishing kit and travel rod that I got. Uh, I'm gonna start by throwing the uh, the pink swim bait that I tried throwing. Last night, got a couple of short strikes on. Um, this is the shallow end of the pond, so I don't know if I'm going to get anything over here. But we'll throw a couple here, and then we'll work our way around. Let's see what happens. Got something. Oh, it's a very light hit. In a little set. Oh, it's a nice crappie. Here we go. Nice small crappie on a well, it's ostensibly a crappie lure. All right, let's get you off. Typical crappie fashion, barely felt the hit, more felt the weight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> oh, come on. Yep, so, in typical crappie fashion, Really didn't feel the hit, more felt the weight on the line. Leaned into it a little bit and came up with a crappie. And we're gonna get you back in the water real fast. I had a nice strong bite out there, but let it go before I got a hook set. Gotcha. There we go. <laughs> He's fighting me. 
Let's see what we got here. Come on, you look like a ooh, nice size bluegill. Been a while since I caught a bluegill this size. There we go. That's a nice bluegill. Let's see why it took him a couple of tries to. get this in his mouth because his mouth is barely big enough for this bait. It's a nice and meaty one if I was still... This would be a decent eating size bluegill for the fryer. There we go. Got you off. We're going to have to fix the swim bait. Nice bluegill. Fairly nice size, not that big, but I've caught bigger, but this is the biggest one I've caught in a while. Let's get you back in. All right. Okay, we're gonna come over here to the spot that I was trying to fish last night. We'll throw our swim bait a couple of times, see what happens. <laughs> the big stick I caught is still sitting here. And uh, we'll throw a couple, see if I can catch something here, and then give my uh, a summary of my impressions of this fishing kit. I'm going to start over here where I was getting hit and see what I can come up with. Water's a little stained, not too bad, and it's sunny, so we've got a fairly bright color, but not too bright. It's this pale pink with a white bottom, some glitter in it. Good for these conditions. Or a little bit on the murky side, bright sun. So we've got a little bit of bright color to get a little bit more visibility. And it's on the lighter shade, so it's uh, so it's good for the, these sunny conditions. Got something on the line. It's pulling hard. Whoa. Didn't feel a hit. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. That's a decent bass for a light setup like this. Wow, that was a tough fight on this white light gear. There we go. Look at that. Nice. You've got some weight on you. I'm actually going to have to try weighing you. Look at that. Nice bass. You might actually be a pound. Let's get you on these grippers. Now these grippers are different than the ones I had before. These aren't quite as calibrated, so I have to subtract about two ounces to get an accurate weight from them. Now we zero it out. So we got 0.82 pounds. After I subtract, that's um, 2.69 pounds. 0.69 pounds is the official weight. 
and yes I calculated how much the, I calculated how much the grippers weigh so I don't have to zero the scale every time I use them so far from the biggest bass I've ever caught still a dink by most people's calculations but this is a really good sized bass for this pond this pond has traditionally not had a lot of huge bass except for the one two pounder that I happened on a few months ago so let's get you back in here there you go <laughs> all right I think we can call this session a success we caught a couple of crappie and a nice bass on a little pink swim bait that came with this fishing kit um, next time I try out this kit I will probably either take it creek fishing for some really small stuff or I will try out some of the hard baits even though <laughs> I'm not so sure that those hard baits are gonna where this uh, line is gonna hold up to anything that those hard baits can catch because they're kind of big but we'll try it out um, anyway my first impressions the rod is pretty good um, I thought it would be more like an ultralight, but it's really more like a light to medium light. Um, it's got a lot of play in the tip, but there's actually some good backbone down here. Um, four pound line held up just fine. Um, the reel definitely feels cheap. Um, the places where, I mean, it's got a, you know, it's got a machined aluminum spool. That's okay. Most of the rest of the parts are plastic. Um, the bail feels a little flimsy. The handle definitely feels flimsy. You can feel the flex in it as you're going. When I was fighting that fish, um, I don't think I'd want to fight anything much bigger than that on it because I actually felt the handle flexing in my hand as I was trying to reel it in. Um, but the reel does work. Um, the bait selection, obviously, you know, what we've got is working for what we've been hitting, especially these little swim baits are doing good at attracting those medium-sized fish. Uh, the little tiny spoons worked really well, and I haven't tried the hard baits yet, so that might be next time. Anyway, that's all I've got time for. That was a pretty successful last catch, a lot of fun. Again, I really didn't feel the hit. I felt the weight. I thought I was actually snagged, and then it started moving, <laughs> and it was a, a lot of fun fighting that fish on this light gear, this really light line and this uh, flimsy reel, so... Um, I am really, <laughs> if I really hooked into a one to two pound bass, I'm wondering what would happen. But um, yeah, I can definitely have some fun with this, um, enough to justify the $30 I've spent for the kit. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll talk to you next time. Hopefully we'll have a little bit, uh, we'll do another uh, Timu video. Uh, like I said, either doing some creek fishing or trying out the hard baits that came with the kit. See you next time.